There was a study recently done here in the Amazon that looked at all of the evangelical missions and where they work. And the study found that more than 80% of all the initiatives done in the Amazon region are done within a 300 to 400 kilometer circle around the capital city. All of that work was being concentrated in this small area while the state itself has uh, uh, more than 2,000 kilometers of area that are unreached. The work on the Amazon out of Manaus is being done exclusively by boat. Um, and boats are amazing resources for ministry, but they can only go so far. Here in the Amazon, we work with the Luzero Boats, a ministry that has run for over 80 years, working with medical mission work, uh, reaching the unreached areas of the Amazon. After looking at the study that we saw, we realized that we're also falling into that same trap because of the mode of transport. We realized that we need an aircraft once again in the Amazon to take out our healthcare professionals, take out our pastors, take out our Bible workers, to reach the farthest and the hardest to reach unentered areas in the Amazon. Adventist World Aviation is about delivering aviation support to missions. We look for opportunities where we can partner with other ministries, with the Adventist Church and other supporting ministries that are already working in areas where aviation support can help them do more, do better, reach more people, go farther. Um, and our partnership in the Amazon with the church and with Amazon Lifesavers is an incredible example of, of that ministry being able to grow with the addition of Adventist World Aviation and an airplane to help them reach more people. And we're just so looking forward to that, that partnership. And I know that those working in the ministry now and on the Amazon are so excited to have an airplane coming that will so increase their capacity to reach more people more effectively. We realized that we could partner together using Adventist World Aviation's technical knowledge and our knowledge of the, the challenges in the Amazon in two ministries coming together we could work to reach the farthest areas of the Amazon. With an aircraft, we're going to be able to leave and take out um, five, six healthcare professionals, specialists in areas, to areas of the Amazon that had never seen a physician, um, much less a specialist and be able to work with local mayor's offices, secretary of health, the indigenous areas to take out specialists to provide health care, opening the door to then be able to put in Bible workers to live in areas that we've never been able to enter before. are still at least 500,000, at least half a million people living in the Amazon that do not have access to a church or a Bible. So the, the goal is just to spread the gospel and is, a, is an evangelistical project that has the goal to, to reach people that never heard about God or Jesus. As a local ministry here in the Amazon, we're really thrilled with the partnership with Adventist World Aviation, with the expectation that we have in having a plane here and being able to, in very short time, um, expand our reach into the whole Amazon area, taking our work with healthcare professionals, with Bible workers, with pastors, into areas that without a plane we'd never be able to reach. Our mission is to provide aviation support wherever it's needed to support the church and other supporting ministries that are doing work already. And being able to add the aviation in a professional, safe manner um, is, the, is the vision and mission of Adventist World Aviation. And so in an area where an existing ministry is working, if we can add the aviation support to help those ministries and the church do more, go farther, reach more people, and um, 
bring more people to Jesus Christ is the mission of Adventist World Aviation. We're, we're looking forward to your support in helping get this airplane delivered and operational in the Amazon, and you can watch for this yellow airplane to be saving lives in the Amazon in the very near future.